Okay, this is a pretty good program. It's a professional astronomical program. Um, costs a lot of money. There are ways of getting it, though, without having to pay for it. But um, This is uh, location Galveston. I don't know where exactly in Texas you are, but this was looking to the west. Oh, no, southeast. You're at 6 p.m., and we have a couple things going on in the sky. Let me uh, hide the daylight here. Um, and we'll see that we have the remnants of DA uh, 2004, uh, 2012 DA 14. And I say remnants because I find it highly coincidental that uh, um, this this asteroid broke apart. On I mean, on February 15th. There were four different um, sizable and viewable meteorites that came into our atmosphere on that date precisely around the globe. So I think they shot it down, blew it apart, but whatever's left of it's still out there. Um, we have a couple interesting things going on. We have WISE, the satellite WISE, which is a super high-tech black, I think, for the most part of its capabilities, black satellite. We have the comet Ison, which seems to be really the culprit. Seems to be exactly where you were viewing. If you were viewing directly to the south from Galveston, Ison would be right where you were talking about Nibiru being. Um, you can see here that Orion is right here, Sirius is here, and um, there's another object that flies through here that I haven't got listed that I have to show you later. I don't know what it is, but it's weird and it flies through here. Um, let's see, uh, but we'll advance it in time a little bit. Let's see, view daylight. Because you can only see, I can see this out there, it is, this object right here. There's an object right there. And it's very odd. It's a very odd object. And it went right by Sirius. That's how you say that, Sirius. Okay, um... Again, Comet Ison is really seems to be the culprit right here. That's its exact location. And here we get to it's being dark, and your video doesn't show anything in the dark, but right at evening. So this is on April 17th at 8.55 p.m. Again, we have Comet Ison right to the west, directly to the west. Whereas we have Orion a little bit to the southwest. So Ison to me looks like the culprit, but truthfully, I believe you caught some kind of UFO. I think they're using Star Wars uh, satellites out there to shoot down these, these asteroids that are going to, like I think, because I ran simulations when they discovered GA-14 um, uh, almost two years ago. And I got several simulations where it hitting the uh, hitting Russia. Two are hitting Russia, and one's, one's hitting California. And I just made slight um, uh, changes in its uh, um, its orbital elements. Um, I I put in the effects of the moon if, uh, on DA14, and that made it hit the planet uh, when it flew by the moon. The moon's gravity. Um, uh, so I added these orbital elements on DA-14, um, and I'm doing the same thing with Ison because I think Ison, but I'm doing what Mars, uh, the effect that Mars may have on Ison when it passes Mars, comes pretty close to Mars. Um, um, Dr. Manning is saying that Ison's going to um, electromagnetically discharge when it gets goes past Mars but Mars doesn't have you know an iron core or it only 
only has a little bit of the, um, electromagnetic uh, signature left to it in various spots. So I don't really see it affecting the comet too much. But I think this comet's a lot bigger um, than they're saying. Um, I think it's all about Ison right now. You may have caught it being broken apart by Star Wars project. I haven't heard anything in the news about it, about it, but you may have caught that. Um, um, anyway, you're doing a really good job, bro. Thanks. Keep it up. It's a good camera. I just got that new Canon power shot with the super zoom lens on it, the uh, SX50. It goes up to 200 times 50. Um, uh, focal and uh, digitally it goes up 200 times. Pretty cool camera. Can't wait to like, catch something like what you caught, man. That was great. Good. Good. Good eye, man. Alright. Peace, brother.